I said I was going to do my own podcast, Social Justice Warrior. Um, we've got the Flip Life podcast still going, still running. Shout out Big Burn, shout out Wise, fliplife.co.uk. Um, but I've been saying I need to do this Social Justice Warrior podcast. And I had a plan for my first guest. Shout out um, London Open TV, we're still going to do that. But then, uh, yeah, I'm here with Terra Slim, so I thought it's only right we just set it off like this, you know what I'm saying? We're out in the sun, sunny, uh, I won't even say where we are. Gotta be done. You know what I'm saying? We're out here. And uh, they've been seeing, like, this show's going to be a bit more where, like, you know, fuck all the UK hip-hop shit. We don't care about hip-hop. We don't care Damn about right. hip-hop music or yeah. scene. I'm saying, show love to all of them. Don't make that sound like I'm dissing all the people I was dissing and that. Shout out to Blade. Shout out 521. Go check that interview when it drops, whether it's before this or after. But um, here's why I'm going to talk about social issues. And like, obviously, it's the first episode. I'm going to have to give a quick introduction to say, you know, when I beef with people on the internet, like Terra Slim, <laughs> he's not really one. I'm, obviously, we'll get to that, but... When I beef with people about social issues on the internet, they call me a social justice warrior, right? Like they do to everyone. And I said to myself, well, I'm going to own that. Why wouldn't I want to be a warrior for social justice? That's crazy. So I said, I put that on a t-shirt and I wear it. And unfortunately, I don't have the t-shirt on, but go to socialjusticewarrior.co.uk. You can buy yours. You can buy, uh, you've got hats, you've got jumpers, you've got t-shirts, new ranges coming. You know what I'm saying? But um, So I said, I've got to make this into a podcast. So it's only right Terra Slim is the first. Uh, I don't know why they picked me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and you know, me and Terra have gone back to back on the internet for the last couple of years. Mm. And they think it's like a one side of a certain, of a, um, I don't want to say certain words and they block the YouTube video. They think it's one side of a certain argument and the other. They think it's a right wing and a left wing. Would that make you right wing? We'll get into no, that. I, but, I don't think of, I don't think yeah. anything. I'm not involved in any kind of right wing, left wing. Anyway, but we, yeah. we, we they think we're ops here. And certain times, me and Terra, we disagree on the internet, but we're actually old friends. I mean, I have, I'm here having a little holiday, checking my bridge in. So some of his mad followers, they come to beef me in the comments. Like they really think it's on smart and they think they're doing it for him. They think they're doing it for him. And Terra's like to tell some of them sometimes, be careful. Because Nova might pull up. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I've noticed recently, Yen, Nova's been pulling up in a few ends anyway. I've been pulling up. I've noticed he's been pulling up. I've been pulling up. I've pulled up in you man's ends. Where, was, been, where was that man? Where was that man? I I've been up. saying, yeah, but he ain't made his way down to the southwest. You get me? Well, I'm here. So, well, he's turned up anyway, so. All right, but this is what I want to do with this podcast. I'm, only, I'm still working out the format, right? But, of course, this is about social issues. So, the first thing I want to ask a guest... Uh. rather than even introducing yourself and that like, mm -hmm. cool is like what is a social justice issue that is important to you um one or or, or um, what ones you, you, a could, few. you could say a, a few, few but you could start with what just give me um, one and then give okay, me one and so we can, I would say we can discuss something that I like drugs for instance and especially from like living in the southwest the um, use of class A drugs Amongst the youth, like just the just the casual attitude to uh, things like crack, heroin, and not only that, obviously the whole trade that goes with it. Um, obviously, you see a lot of users down here. You see a lot of the effects back in London. You understand? So you see a lot of a lot of kids coming back from country when they're in London. Mm. And they're like coming back with like war stories and stuff like that. So when you look at the whole, when you look at it in a whole, um, yeah, that's a thing. That's one of the social issues I think that definitely needs to be addressed because it gets worse. The longer it's it, it's left it left, it gets worse, and mm. it's pretty much out of control in most parts of the country now. So what do you think is the root cause of that issue? The root cause of it is it being created to basically poison and hinder people. That's the root cause of it, do you know what I mean? Obviously, there's factors as to why people will get involved in selling it and there's factors that um, why people will get involved in taking it. Mm. But ultimately, the reason why there's a problem is because it's there. 
someone decided to create it. So you think that they created the drugs or they created the drug trade or they created the circumstances that people want to take drugs? Well, like, put it like this way, it's, it? just, it's not even a case of, it's not a case of circumstances want to take drugs because if I sit here and create a thousand ecstasy pills, yeah. I, or a hundred thousand ecstasy pills and run out into this town giving out ecstasy pills for free, no one's going to be coming at me like, oh, I'm in a bad circumstance, so give me some. Everyone's going to be happy and they're going to net these pills. So it's, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as to say that the circumstances cause people to hate the drugs, but not to say it doesn't, but at the same time, it's more of a case if the drugs is there in the first place. Obviously, there will be circumstances that make people, some people take this, some certain substances. So do you think there's some drugs that's okay to take? I don't, it, you know what it is? Because there's drugs that are legal, you know what I'm saying? There's drugs kind that are of not, it depends, innit? I, it, mm -hmm. I don't know, innit? It, it, it depends. Like, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's bad to do it, good or bad to do anything. Like, at the end of the day, it's still everything's an experience, innit? So I'm not going to sit here and say, I never took no drugs in my life. And I'm not going to even sit here and say, I regret t taking any drugs in my life. Because in the day, for me, I personally just took drugs and had fun with them in it i know it's that's not everyone's experience you know what i mean some people took take drugs because they're depressed or whatever but so everyone has their own experience so as far as what's like you could argue that everything is you know you could argue that smoking weed you know what i mean is bad you could argue that drinking is bad um, so what, that's what i'm saying so, where do you draw so the line do, that's like, you know, I'm, I'm you, like, where does it become it's a, very, it's very hard it's a very it's a gray area but then that's where like personal responsibilities will come into it that's where you got to know for, that's where you got to know for yourself innit? it that's where you got to know that you know what whatever whatever as i am personal doing personal responsibility as opposed to as opposed to circumstance um, that put yeah me as into opposed this. to blame and then as opposed to and then that's another thing as well we don't we call that junkie sympathizing actually another thing where people you start blaming you start blaming like stuff on your, do you know what I mean? On, on your, your reason. No, your, you, you your, just you start blaming your your addiction or whatever on things your upbringing. that. Yeah, do which don't get me wrong. Like that, your your upbringing can lead you down that path. Tell yeah? I want you to be because, as um like as I want you to be as, as strict and as to the point as you are on your timeline because you're not you're not I saying. Am. What it. are you talking about? Right, so on what your you timeline, want me to say? on your timeline, there's been a couple of things said about junkies and this and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And, and what? I think there was even something about, I mean, the word hang was used at well, one that, point. I never said it. Um, and uh, I never said that, but yeah, that was posted. There, there's someone crazy, like, crazy stuff someone posted did, yeah. where it's like, and, yeah, and, and, you know and, you, and you, like you said, junkies sympathize that on a thing yeah. like no, on a no sympathy, yeah. zero well, tolerance. you know what it is, mate. Like, and, uh, and some I, people that's why I ask. You, that's why I ask. Do you yeah. think there's a social social circumstances that cause these things to be happen to happen? Cause people to use drugs. What is the root cause of the problem? Um, and here I can hear. You don't want to say it too obviously, but I can hear. Well, do, what do you think I, can, I want no, to no, say? No, 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 no. I'm not saying you don't want to say something horrible. I'm saying I can hear you're almost. You know, Holding le back. Le no, leaning to the fact that there is circumstances where social conditions No, well, like, you didn't let me get to that. Let well, me get to that. Let me get to that. You're often no, saying get, I'm gonna, you're, more no, focused I'm, like, you're more focused on the personal get, responsibility. Yeah, no, 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 personal, right, let me ask you this. Do you think personal responsibility is more important than addressing the root cause? In this case, you have to be, put, yeah, because the root cause is not going to get As addressed. As an individual, maybe. Yeah, so you'd have, you'd have to, you know, you'd have to deal with personal responsibility in this case because you can't rely on uh, you know they're gonna there's gonna be a war on drugs and they're gonna sort it all out for you so you'd have to exercise personal responsibility definitely in well when you say the war on drugs or, it goes back to what you said originally that they've created this thing right? of course they, they have of course the they have so you need so as, an, so as an individual you need to get yourself out of the way you need to get yourself out of the conflict, you know what I mean? Because it's something, they've, the problem and the solution has been created. So at the end of the day, if you find yourself in that world in any shape, or, way, shape or form, you're, mm. you're in the firing line one way or another. So that's my advice, isn't it? If you could step out of it as an individual, knowing you can't help the majority, because that's, that's another thing I was going to say, the mm. truth of the matter is, yeah, the amount of drug addicts out there yeah, ideally, in an ideal world, we would like to give them all help. And but there I thought you were going to say something completely mate, different. Mate, no, that's, I, that, I said we, I didn't say me. <laughs> let's, not, let's not get into me right now. So already, let's as not I, get into me. As, we, as I've said at the beginning, the, you know, I don't want to use these terms too much, but the right wing, left wing, like I would call some of what you're saying now 
Tory talk. Yeah. But um, I get some of it. You're, you're on a level where you're going, oh, I'm trying to give advice to an individual, like your yeah. family, your friends. Like, you've got to look, don't do this kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. But um, so what do, you, what do you think is the solution and what are you doing about it? What solution for what? For this, for the social, the, for the you, drugs. Yeah, the, the issue that you have brought mate, to this podcast you know today is your issue. So you, you know what it is. The floor is yours. I can't even say what the solution is. I'll be honest with you. The solution is the solution is mental. Say it, I can like, bleep it out <laughs> if you want. <laughs> you can say nah, it. Nah, forget it. all that. Forget all that, mate. What, what are you, you know saying? What I mean? Oh, we need to watch this saying, yeah, um, so, yeah, forget all that, man. Like talking about what the solution is on here. What's the solution? <laughs> okay. What do you think? Genocide. <laughs> Is that what you're we saying? can't even get into it. We you see these sorts of things. We can't even get into it. I'm not saying nothing like that, but we can't even get into what the solution is. It's, it's, it would involve it would involve too many people's doors getting smashed in and too much people. You well, know, you it, think it'd, like, it'd be actual physical. Like it would have. It'd be, bro. It would be war because at the end of the day, most people. The war on drug addicts it would be, rather than the war on, on drugs. It would be on everybody. Talk to, be talk on, to the mic. Right? It would be. On, it would be on everybody involved in it, innit? and it would just um, be. It would be mayhem. So it's one of them things. So what about Portugal? What about, what about the Portugal solution? Yeah, but Portugal, do you know what the truth with Portugal? Portugal is now a junkie's paradise and all junkies from over here, because yeah. a load of a load of them from uh, like Bristol and that, they've went over there as well. Yeah. So that's all that's happening. So yeah, you've, you've, you've softened the, you know, the drug laws, which you kind of had to because it was so out of control. You had to turn it into a... But no, I, don't, I mean, yeah, I don't have the numbers and all yeah, that here, but, I know but it hasn't Portugal, reduced crime and reduced drug um, problems and, really, and, Port- and reduced drug use. We, do you know what it is? I can't this. really... Do you know what it is? I can't we really can say, because I've never, be, I've never been to Portugal, innit? Mm. Um, for me to... Like, I've got friends that go to Portugal, innit? Um, and I know some people from Portugal. Like, mm. I know a few rappers from Portugal that are from the hood. And, okay. And, and from what I know of Portugal, mm. uh, Lisbon and all that... Um, Lisbon is active. <clears throat> I've never been there myself to be able to, to verify if it's yeah. worse than this or that. Um, so as far as the crime, it, I don't know about all that. They said the same thing in Holland. They were like, oh, they, they legalised this and that in Holland, so it reduced crime. But then I've spent a lot of time in Holland. Just because you see crime, don't mean it reduced, let me tell you reduced something. across the board. Well, yeah, what, the thing is, yeah, no, because the way they made it sound is like, oh, you know, Holland is one of the, you know, there's no violent. We have not much violent crime. Who causes the violent that? crime in Holland, though? Who would you mean? A lot of it's tourists. No, English no, people. no, no, no. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> about. English people I'm talking about. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about gun crime and stuff like that and gang crime. There's some in Holland. Yeah. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. If you go, like, if you go to Holland and you know your way around, like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, mm-hmm. and certain areas, it is pretty much places that are just like London. Okay. Where it goes off. It's literally going off. Like. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was in Amsterdam the other day, innit? And, like, I realised it. Because I was going there, like, I don't smoke weed, innit? And I'm not drinking and that. So I was I was there and I was like, right, this is a bit of a mad place. like. But it was because... It, the reason it felt weird, to me, was, like, loads of, like, L- London man and British man, like, out there. That I was just like, right, this looks like Camden High Road. Like, yeah, Am- Am- Amsterdam, <laughs> Amsterdam, yeah. I was like, I came here to chill out. Dodgy why, did come, why did I come here to chill out? Amsterdam, <laughs> I used to think that when I was younger, I'd go to Amsterdam well, so. and I'd be like, it's so peaceful. And then it's like, actually, this place isn't peaceful. Yeah. This place is dodgy. Red light No, because me and dodgy. you went, we, the last time I'd gone there was with you. Yeah. And red, I, I was saying, oh, I like Amsterdam, it's peaceful. Like, even yeah, though I don't smoke weed anymore, it's peaceful. And you were saying to me, no, this place is mad. Oi. And then when I went there this time on my own, I was like, no, I see what Terra was saying. Still, Trust it's a bit me. crazy. Last here. time I went, but it's peaceful places, though. Yeah, yeah the, the thing of the thing is, yeah, Holland's one of them, one of them countries. A lot of it is quite peaceful and mm. you know what I mean, quiet. But as far as Amsterdam, like whatever, I'm not, I'm not against the legis- uh, legalization of weed or whatever. But the legalization of weed in Amsterdam hasn't cut violent crime. But are you against? It. Are you against the legal? So do you, do you think le- weed should be legalized in the UK? Yeah. I like think morally, so. I'm just like. I, uh, well, yeah. you know what is uh, like I said in it. I'm not really involved in their lawmaking. I'm not involved other, in their lawmaking. And do I'm you not, think any other drugs? No, no, laws. no, 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 no I'm but, just, it's just but hypothetically. I, but I, like, yeah, yeah. Hypothetically, yeah. Like, so, do you think any other drugs should be legalized in the UK? Mushrooms, maybe. Um, Things that. So, but you don't think like maybe. crack and heroin and class A drugs should be legalized in the UK? I don't see the benefit of these drugs. 
At no, all. of course not. Benefit of them, but the drugs even, are here, innit? You know, at the end of the day, you know, if someone wanted to kind of argue like MDMA ecstasy or whatever, then I, then I, I could hear out the argument. Okay, but I'm cool. saying the drugs, not, the drugs are but already here. I know, it? yeah, but so no, I, I, mean, I don't think so. Innit? My opinion, I don't think so. my opinion I think is get rid of it. Legalize the drugs. Do what they've done in Portugal. Legalize it. Monitor it. Obviously, we don't. We have a very corrupt government, so I don't trust that they'll do it in a good way. But <laughs> it's better than what's going on now because at the moment it's just a madness. So that's to me that is the first solution. And the, the main reason is drugs, are, I don't think, should be treated as a criminal problem. They should be treated as a health problem. But I, I don't know if you disagree with that statement because I have get a feeling your solution would be to treat it more criminally. Not necessarily. Not, like, not, not prison necessarily. Or all of that. Not you, necessarily. Might, you might mean like street justice. No, or, I, you know what like, it is? No, because I think I, I, my whole thing is this, yeah. Forced rehab. My whole thing is, no, not really. <laughs> I, don't I don't think... What do you think? Not, oh, that's not, why I want your solution. No, because, because you know what it is. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, there ain't much that the, the system can do anyway to help people. You know what I mean? That oh, kind, there is. That kind, that kind of thing, that needs, that's that's where do. this sort of thing is where the community has to has to get together. The community has to get together. And if, and if they see a member of the community... You know what I mean? Like if you like I know if I see one of my friends' kids walking around mm. high on crack, yeah, I'm having him up. You mm. know what I mean? I'm gonna have him up and and take him back to his parents, do you know what I mean? Or whatever. And I'm not gonna allow it to happen. So that's the difference, you know what I mean? But you just need more people that are that way, you know what I mean? So even me when so I was you're younger. Have him when I, up, well, it's not bro, what, what I'll, you're do, lock him in a room. No, cold I'll take turkey, him to his parents. And then what are they gonna do? Take him to his parents. Parent, well, what if the parents can't do well, that? Well, then that's it, I did my bit. But the thing is, back in my <laughs> days, we knew we couldn't walk around. You know what I mean? When we was even smoking weed, we knew we had to duck and dive because even if our our par our parents' friends saw us, it's getting everything's getting reported back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it meant that even though I'm not saying that mm -hmm. everyone young person growing up is going to do stuff like that anyway, but it made us have some sort of limits to it. So yeah, we smoked some weed, but we didn't go out and smoke crack. Do you know what I mean? Because we're well, <laughs> taking things too far, and that's what people need to know. This is going too far. Well, I'm not I'm not against community. I'm not against community solution, but I just don't know if dragging man by the ear to their parents is the solution either. What if they're like 45 years old? <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. Mate, we're talking about grips and upgrown men, bruv. Like, you know what I mean? Big man tingle. You know what I right, mean? One, more, 45. one more question on this topic and we're going to move forward there. Do you have any empathy for drug addicts? Next question, please. <laughs> I need an answer. Nah, mate, I'm not answering this question. If you don't have empathy, just look, say you look, don't have empathy. Uh, uh, I'm not answering this question. Like, I mean, no, 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 you know what? You need to stop. You're going to say no, no, no but what you're, you're veering towards junkie sympathizing. No, and no, we no, don't no, want no, to promote no, that no, in listen, any kind of way. Let me let me say it. Let me say it before we move then. Yeah. Now listen, because you see what it is. It's over. You see the Southwest, yeah? The people are under siege. See the good people. I have sympathy. They have sympathy. I have sympathy. I have sympathy. That's why I asked you. Okay, let me answer the question, yeah? I have empathy. For the old people, for the kids, for the shop owners and right, the business owners, for the thing. business owners, for the dog that got put down the other day because of the drug addict that owned it. Yeah, I have not the one, not that guy in London. It was a dog in Exeter that was owned mm. by a drug addict, and it do and because she couldn't control it, it bit someone, and the dog got put down. I've got empathy for that dog. Um, but the dog bit someone though. The dog bit yeah, someone yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, but yeah, because it was in the hands of a druggie who couldn't train it. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, I have yeah, empathy yeah, no, for the you. dog. All right. I hear that. Um, I have empathy for um, all these people that have had, to, you know, have had to move out of these areas. All these people who wanted to retire here and ended up encountering marauding drug addicts mm. running up and down their high street, threatening them with syringes and stuff like mm. that. So I have empathy for these people, and that's all I'll say on the situation. Ah, uh, so we're, let's 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 move, right? So you got a brand, yeah, called Bad Slave, yeah. Um, what made you start this brand? What made you start Bad Slave? Um, and what is the ethos behind it? Yeah, no, kind of. I can't even remember how I what I got how I came up with the idea. Oh, I will tell you. I had an artist in mind, yeah. So originally, I had the idea, and the artist I had in mind, I don't mention her name or nothing, yeah, but she was just crazy. She was off her head, right? <laughs> and so I've ordered that. Was well, she on drugs? Yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've hollered at her to do the artwork. No empathy, no sympathy. Um, well, well, this is this is. You know, you could you understand why I have no empathy. 
<laughs> when you see the opportunities I've given people. No one told you to do olive business with people I've held drug, out. drug addicts. No, it's listen, not about that. listen, because you know, it's, I wasn't even first, watching that. First, listen, I wasn't even first, watching then, that right now. I wasn't business. even watching that because you see what it is, yeah? You know, certain, I ain't gonna lie, some of the most creative people in the world are drug addicts, bruv. Yeah. You know, some of the most best artists, best musicians. So I ain't, I'm not gonna front on that, yeah? So I, I basically wanted to use her to do my designs. Um, and then somehow. But did you have the name before that? Yeah, well, I came up with the name. I came up with the name somewhere, somehow. I can't remember where. But obviously, I wanted somebody to do me a design. Um, in the end, the drugs took hold. <laughs> it like literally took over. So you got someone I else got to do it. Someone else to do though. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Right. Exactly. So I got one of my good friends to do it, um, and it just basically came back exactly the way he wanted it. It's the ethos was sort of. Um, you know, because it was around a time where, you know, there was like telling people to wear masks, um, all this social distancing. So it started as as in response to all the restrictions that were being put on, and a lot of people were being the echo chamber for the government by, you know, getting on to people for not doing these things. And why why aren't they getting on to people now? Do you know what I mean? Nothing's changed. Why aren't they? And this is what I'm saying. And this is what, this what I was saying from the get-go, innit? it? Yeah. It's like, why aren't you acting how you was acting then now? Do you know what I mean? Why? What's changed? People have not got no problem going out raving now. Do you know what I mean? See, so it's just a whole load of madness. So it's more kind of, you know, for people that could see through I mean, see I, through the deception, basically. I think I kind of get it, but I just would like to have a breakdown of what the name means. You know yeah. What I'm yeah. So, yeah. And you're, yeah. Say, you're saying it in a time where we were all being told what to do, stay in your house. Yeah. Kind so of it's almost, yeah, almost like slaves. So, so you're, saying, well, you're, you're saying that all of us are slaves? Who's, who are yeah, the slaves? Yeah, I would say that, yeah. And there were good slaves and bad slaves? Yeah, in a, in a way. Yeah. So what you were saying yeah. is the ones not following the rules are the bad slaves because we don't follow the rules. Is that... Is that kind of the thinking? Along those lines, yeah. That's a lot of people. A lot of people not, identify not, the really, the, not really the bad I, slaves because you might say we're the, they're the good ones, but they're the bad to the system, isn't it? The system will look at you and go, "You're bad." There's a bad yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have the willing slaves. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll get, I'll get back onto a geezer because I didn't like this, right? Yeah. Because we tried to, he tried to drag you into this, yeah. So there was a geezer, and he he done a, a mock up of my bad slave design, and he done a good slave. Oh, and did done, he? And he, and he, put did he put a picture in, of me in it? Yeah, and he put a picture of you I in it, yeah? I don't remember that. They make yeah, so many yeah, memes like, of hear me. What, hear what, no, hear they what. They make so many memes. Hear what, yeah? yeah. Then, and then it, in the same breath, yeah, decided to go and talk about, and starts going on about Pakistani grooming gangs. And I'm thinking, oh, hold on a minute, mate. Hold on a minute, mate. Hold on a minute, mate. This is where we come to the. This is where we come to yeah, the key part. But, but, of this yeah, but thing. the thing is, the thing is with this geezer though, yeah. Like I said, in it, he got put on blast. You yeah. put him on blast. Um, I had to, innit? Yeah. So did, was he wearing a bad slave T-shirt or did he buy no, any No, he merch? didn't buy a bad slave T-shirt. So he was just getting he, on a hat. He, 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 no, I, I knew, I knew him. So he made line. it. You knew him. He, yeah, he knew, but you know. We're, gonna, we're not going to out him. We're not going to say who he is. I don't know who he is. I don't no, even remember. This is how much attention I pay to people that make memes of me. Say, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say his Listen, name yeah? because at the end of the day, he's doing what he's doing at the moment. So he made a thing of me calling and me a I, good And the best slave. thing, the best thing to be, the best thing to do. And I wasn't following the rules. Let me just be clear. No, no, but the best thing for him is just to go our separate ways. Yeah, but let me forget that guy. Let me just clear something up because me and Terra were kind of beefing online around that time and I think there's some misunderstanding about that but I weren't never following no rules mate. I was outside you know what I'm saying I did I know I took a picture in a mask to wind you up and sometimes I wore a mask if I was doing something I needed to let you know what I'm saying the hood dudes in the ends was wearing masks because they don't want their face to be shown some people took advantage of it for other reasons um, but I didn't really follow the rules I was in London I was outside um, but anyway that's, that's neither here nor there um, uh, the question I want to ask off the back of that I wasn't even going to ask this. I didn't write it down, but I just thought of it now because I said it online before. So let's just discuss it. It's like, you've got a lot of... I was going to ask you, like, what you think of whether there's a lot of racist people in this that current freedom movement that came out at that time, or truth movement, whatever you're going to call it. Do I think but, there is? Yeah, go on, let's yeah, start with yeah, that. Let's yeah, start with that. Well, you know what it is. Yeah, and I hope... And why? I hope they're all listening. And why? Yeah, now. All right. I didn't want it to be that. I didn't want that to be the case. You understand? I genuinely didn't want that to be the case. And I don't mean um, your bad slave and, movement. And I mean then, that whatever was yeah, going yeah, on. No, like no, the no, anti, no, 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 no,
that to be the case mm. because there was a lot of um they don't get me wrong yeah of course like most people that are in the truth of movement they don't follow like blm it's just like you know just goes without saying most of the truthers don't follow blm you won't find it you re you will very rarely find a truther who's a truther and a blm follower although there are some yeah um, um and most but, of them white when you say truth, what do you picture in your head? You picture a white person? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. All right, I'll, but predominantly, I'll, I'll let you continue. Predominantly, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, at the same time, I did personally witness myself in it. See, this mm. is the thing, right? People are obviously like saying, what, putting their opinions out there and that, and then they're being accused of being racist, yeah, which is whatever. But you know, there's still room for like debate. So uh -huh. they can still debate, oh no, I'm not racist, this is why I'm saying this, cool, cool. But then what's happened is some people have come out, this is to me, and came out and said di racist stuff directly to me. You know, yeah. and made racist, yeah. Like what, like what? Uh, um, mate, I couldn't, I, all quite, pretty much as, as racist as you can get. Mental. Probably like, Nigger, I'm sure there's been a nigger in there somewhere. I'm sure. Well, like in the comments on, in, like, even in my inbox, a lot of it in my, a lot of it in my inbox. Yeah, in my inbox. You see, I'm saying. Wow. So I've had, you see, I'm saying. I've had, I've had, uh, uh, yeah, like this. I'm saying in it. So I've had like um, certain people who were, and actually some of them are quite from like the RA, from the RA fans. No, that? no, no, no. This is from um, <laughs> this is from um, <laughs> this this is from a uh, different different truth or. Yeah, circles factions. and factions like, and that. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of a, a lot of what I a lot of the racism actually was coming from it's like the army. Nah, it's. I wonder if they'll pick that up. The, the yeah, a lot a lot good. of it was actually coming. You see the racist stuff. A lot of it was coming from the Midlands actually. So Is a lot it? of it was coming from like the East Midlands and that sort of area. Um, obviously, like Algae, he's had he's had some experience with. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, then, I see and my then, man what, about that, yeah. but then that geezer that he's had, he, he's from London, and he, apparently, I don't. The thing with me as well is I don't follow any of this stuff. I don't go. I, I don't go to protests. I don't watch any of this stuff on YouTube, and I don't. I don't uh, tend to like move around with truthers and any sorts of people. So I don't really know what goes on within this. I want to ask you something but, on that, but we're going to come back to. It. I want to ask you what do you do then to fight these kind of issues? Because you've made a club. You've made a club. I don't want to ask it oh, now. Right, I want okay. to, I've got another question first, but I want oh, to. Right, I'm yeah. going to say that now, so we know that question's coming, right? Yeah, so like, yeah. well, I think we need to get to it before the end of this podcast. What do you do? You started a brand yeah. with. Um, actually, let's do that first now. So we started the brand. You started this brand with this ethos. Yeah. What are you hoping for it to achieve, as far as like putting that message out there? Because obviously, it has a message. Yeah. Do you want it to? Do you do you have a vision of it making some kind of impact? Yeah, definitely. Like, it's just trying to like show people the way out of of whatever situation they're in, and guide them to. A better place in life and obviously people that's the thing with us yeah our doors always open in it so people want to come is it really though because you're, 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 you're quite like on the social media it feels like you're just cussing everybody Who? i do as well Who I, mean, am I, I cuss racists Who am I you seem like you're cussing anyone that's Who? not on, on not on Who? only the only people like think I, like, no, the only people like, not at all because actually the people i get on with the most on social media yeah are probably like luke maverick like Sam Gregory, Mike Mick, these guys there, yeah, and like we oh, don't you're have. Bringing in the, you're bringing we, we in don't the, have the no, but we don't. The, what, the, they're the, the, they're the people on. that I, I banter the with gang, the most. Though. They're the people I banter with the most on social media, yeah. You're not even and in we, the group. Why haven't they got you in the group? It doesn't matter. You leave? I don't. I don't I, we got a group look, chat still. Yeah, but they're the people I banter with the most, yeah, and they don't have the same. Uh, points of view as me. No, no, you and I don't. So I, at the I, end of the day, I don't. I do. I have a lot more the same as you than people think, but so so I'm not. I'm not like like I like I said. I'm not like nah, that man ain't. You know what I mean? All right, let me ask you this, yeah. Bad slave. So we're establishing you created this um, brand. Yeah, yeah. In 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 a similar time to when these kind of guys were creating freedom movements against yeah. what was going on in the country, mm. um, we established that there's a lot of white racist people doing that. It's my opinion. That yeah. And I just know when I started looking at those protests, I looked at it and cool, whatever people think of BLM or whatever as an organization, the message, I'm sure most of us agree with the message as very basic, simple message, right? Um, so when the protests for that that were happening just because of the message, mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I went to some of those early ones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And um, 
there wasn't like loads of white people and at them and all like the, uh, definitely not them early ones. And I was like, okay, now this like lockdown things happened. Suddenly, all these like right wing white people are now wanting to take to the streets and protest. When you, why didn't you? Why didn't you guys come and protest for this? You didn't care about. So it seemed to me like they they only they suddenly cared about freedom when yeah. it affected white people. Yeah, but no, but yeah, but this is the this is the double. That's what it seems No, but this is the double edge. Yeah, but this is the double edged sword though. I, 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 no, but this is I'm a double edged sword. I'm not saying that in context this of the BLM though. I'm yeah, but this like is a double edged sword because a lot of people. Yeah. See, I get that side of the argument mm. that that hurt people's feelings, innit? What did? Like the fact they were like, "What? No one turned out for us." Like, but no, 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 no. That's not. No, 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 that everyone was literally told. I wasn't in London at these points, so I don't know how severe yeah. the, lo the lockdown was. From what I saw, it seemed yeah, pretty. Yeah, yeah. Seemed like you man was under the thumb. I was outside, like you but man. It wasn't, it wasn't you much seemed going like you man under so pressure. It like whatever. What it seemed like you man in London. It seemed mm. like you man in London were running to the shops and looking. At, you know what I mean? It seemed like you. And I get it. When I was when there was I was in, else to do, innit? when I was in there Saint Albans, when I was in Saint yeah. Albans, I was in Saint Albans before I moved out here. Yeah? Mm. And I did, even though it's not even in London, I slightly felt a little bit under pressure. Do you know what I mean? I mm -hmm. slightly was I kept hearing helicopters flying above me. I was, do you know what I mean? It was I slightly, a weird, it was a weird time. I, yeah, I got out. Of, you know what I mean? When weird, I, once I got time, to the once I got to the southwest, I was it was normal normality. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I know people in London was under hella pressure. Do you see what I'm saying? So. But what are you saying? I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm addressing is the white people that were like suddenly yeah. outside going, "Oh, let's all fight together for freedom." Yeah. But then if you turn around to them and go. I don't want like BLM's the obvious example, but I don't want to use them right, because, right, of, yeah, because yeah. of the things mm -hmm. people have issue with the organization, yeah, right? Yeah. But just let's just say there's a ra like uh, okay, let's say there's a racist attack and we just want to go and address all oh, this this there was a racist attack, like let's go and do something about it or let's go and protect that person. Um or like forever family movement or like Nobody don't want to back them. If them, white, them same white people just like, oh, we need freedom. We need to all be outside together. Or suddenly be going, no, no, no. And yeah, suddenly yeah. going, oh, we're all the same. Yeah, we're all no, in it together. No, no, no. Let me, together. Let me, There's okay, no racism. Yeah, let, let me There's tell, no racism. Yeah, and this, yeah, but the thing is, this is the thing. Those people that that the protests, mm. they ain't got nothing to do. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Do you know what I mean? They ain't got nothing to do with what I'm mm. doing. And they they're here to protest. They're, these are people that want to actually go and. Uh, Beg the government, or beg, or, or or they want to go and over overthrow the system. You understand? They're on their own little mission. So they, they what they, what they're into? Out, yeah. So that's got, what's that got? They're they're probably, what they're, they're doing? They've got nothing. Probably to, hand it to Nigel mate, Farage on a plane. Mate, yeah. Well, <laughs> what they're doing has got nothing. To, what they're doing has got nothing to do with me. Do you know what I mean? Got, like, so at the end of the day, I, I, I expect all kinds of madness at a protest. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I expect it. Well, I've been, I went to one protest actually once. I had to go down there for something. Yeah. I had to go down there to go and shift a load of bad slave gear actually. And then. <laughs> And, to the and, white racist people. Oh well, mate. anyone. anyone. No, in all fairness, yeah. No, because you know what? In all fairness, yeah. You know who 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 picked one up that day? What? I don't know if you know Gus Augustus. He's he's another you know, like, guy. You know they say the pink pound when people go like I'm just say the pink pound when men go to Pride to hustle. You're going down there for the white the white pound. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's mate. It's a union. It's a union jack pound, mate. Seriously. It's St George's Cross. Yeah, that's the real that, red flag. Mate. Yeah, seriously. All right, let me ask you this. This is what I was building to. I guess um, bad slave. The name, you know, the brand name has the name slave in it. So, so a white person so, wearing the. Look, it's where, my what, brand, what do you mate. Think? It's my brand, How do you mate. Feel? My granddad is a slave, no, mate. That's exactly. what I have to so understand. Let, so the person say, who made it, his granddad was in the cotton field. No, I, I respect no, that. No, he was. No, he wasn't in the uh, cotton field, really. Uh, he was in the sugar saying, cane field. Yeah, what I'm saying <laughs> is, how do you feel? About a racist white person taking your T-shirt yeah. that has the word slave in it yeah. and embracing it and saying, uh, yeah. I'm a slave. It, and they also say, yeah, yeah. let me just put the whole picture. They're yeah. also saying when you get into conversation with them about yeah. racism, yeah. slavery wasn't that bad. Like they, yeah. under, they undermined slavery yeah. and say we're all slaves. Yeah. Like, there was Irish slaves before that, under, yeah. completely undermining of the yeah. transatlantic slave yeah. trade. Yeah. Um, how, do, how, how do, do you feel about them now? What, like where, using, where, how do you feel about them using yeah, your t shirt? Yeah, how, well, wearing take, a t shirt. You, you know, using your t shirt yeah, and wearing to what, it to, to like try and own the term of did slavery. He pay for, did he pay for the t shirt? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. This I'm saying, I, I'll be honest with you, Sarah, from the beginning, it's like, I, I said this late. You're my brother. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't ever want to, like, I didn't ever want to actually stop people buying your t-shirt and your brand but from the brand started I felt funny about it no but you know what it is I, one thing I will say yeah mm. one thing I will say is I remember 
And I felt you fine did, no, no, but you know what? You wasn't, no, but you, no, but the thing is, you wasn't wrong to do that. Mm. You wasn't wrong to do that. Because when you brought certain things to the surface... Yeah, quite recently, it, you've been sticking it on them, man. Like, when, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, like, credit to you, you've been yeah, sticking it on. When, some, some of them you're yeah, not, but some, most of them... When, yeah. when, when you brought it to the surface, when you brought certain people's views to the surface, mm. yeah, it revealed some very, very concerning... <laughs> um, concerning... Um, version of history even mm. that had that not been nipped in the bud that could have do you know what I mean it, that could have spread there could have been a whole like you so like you said there could there maybe could be a group of people out there that wear bad slave and use it to as a way to represent what they stand well, for you've started sending, is, you know, I don't want to hook you up but you've started sending me sometimes like a screenshot of a man with a mad racist post about immigration or something. Yeah, yeah. And you'd be like, yeah, this guy bought a t-shirt off me. Like, <laughs> he start telling me. And you've been sticking it on them, don't get me wrong. Yeah, like, some of yeah. Them anyway, you do, well, you know what it is, I'll be honest I'm with you, yeah. say, how do you feel? I'll be, I think, I, do you I know think, what it is, I'll be honest with you, yeah. Like, see, like, like, see, some people that look at the, the, the freedom movement and that, yeah, they look at it like, this is uh, it, this is the fight for freedom. Uh, I can tell people the, the fight is already lost the minute people started being racist. See what I'm saying? So that's how I see it. Yeah, the there's, minute, no, there's no the minute, freedom. To me, there's no freedom with that yeah, equality, the, racial equality. Yeah, the minute people things. couldn't, un, the minute people was like, "Oh, we're the truth, or we're truth seekers," and they didn't actually know certain things, and it's like, well, basically, so a lot of these people are people that have only got into um, doing, you know, researching these things in the past 18 months three years oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. whereas you think, yeah, like, now, now you're seeing who's been dealing come, with it for this, 20, this is 25 why I didn't years. Get involved, didn't it? Because like, you know, you know, I realized. Like David Icke, like you know, like yeah, man was reading David Icke books when I was eighteen. Shout and out that, Uncle David. You know what I'm saying, no, Shout no, him no out. uncle to me. It's your yeah. racist uncle. Yeah, 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 yeah. actually, yes, yeah. uncle. Yeah. Yeah. I actually had an uncle David. R. I. P. You know Seriously. what I'm saying, but he's not racist. But yeah. David Icke, good guy, well, mate, but, David Icke's a good but, guy. But, yeah. but all right, so I, I, I just looked at these guys as like, well, you just picked up a David Icke book for the first time. I read that twenty years ago, and then I realized what was bullshit in it and what what, what wasn't. Mm. Um, and then I started looking into him, and I started actually re re looking at this whole thing. And like that kind of alternative information world, and realizing that he's one of those racists. I found all of those posts. Remember, you re you saw it at the time. I found all those posts where he was attacking people for taking the knee, what, what attacking is, any is, form. Let me tell you, any form of message against racism. What he was claiming, and let's ask you about. Let this. me tell no, you. No, let me ask you. This. He was claiming <laughs> yeah. that. And, and and this is what that other guy that doesn't like me does. Yeah, the one who's a bit obsessed with me with all those videos. He um. He says that racism basically doesn't exist anymore, pretty much. White supremacy doesn't exist. And then he says that um, and all of this stuff about racism that's becoming more in the, in the forefront because of social media, because of us talking about it, he says it's an agenda to divide yeah. us. But actually, it, I will say it's an agenda to bring us together because we've got to stop the racism so we can bring us together. But he wants to ignore the racism and say it's dividing I, I us. Think what, what, what David what you got to understand. What that's what David Axe says. What you've got to understand, right? He thinks BLM, L taking listen, a knee, any listen. stand. So what do you... No, I want to know what you feel about uh, that. Right, so basically, right, all these... Um, since the lockdown happened, right, mm. you've got the people that was like fully with the government and then you've got the people that wasn't with the government. Now, all the people that was anti-lockdown um, anti and all that, mm. they all fell into different uh, schools of thought. So some mm. of them became Trump supporters. Some of them became 5G obsessives. Mm. Um, some of them became religious fanatics, Christianity and Islam. Mm. Some of them became um, into... Some of them, loads of them went to Glastonbury, Remember started saying, burning them, fucking, fucking sage and crystals. Some jumped from Corbyn, because the whole Corbyn thing was before, some jumped yeah. from Corbyn to Trump. Yeah, my, a lot of them did. Yeah, so a lot of them did, <laughs> oh. and, a lot of them, and a lot of them went from Corbyn to, into Glastonbury, burning sage and wearing crystals and doing all sorts of mad yeah, that's rituals fine, that's on the fine, tour. That's fine, I know you don't right? that's they started No, that's what, I'm just saying, I'm just reading shout out the different out, groups of people. I'm just different. I'm just, I'm just reading out all the different groups of people. Yeah. And then some people, it's gone towards the the immigrant thing, yeah? Um, like, say, so the, the UN... You know what I mean? Brexit. Yeah. Some. Yeah. So it's gone. It's gone towards the. You know. There's the theory that the the people in these hotels they're all men and they're all undercover UN. Uh, whatever. Yeah. So it's gone. It's Who gone in different that? directions. Do you think them are really like, Is that what they think? No. This is this is they, this they is what. That? I don't know who thinks what, but right. this is not what I've heard from there. This is what I've been seeing. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's all these different categories that people have fallen in, and even David Ike. Yeah. A lot of people won't. Agree oh, with yeah, what I'm saying. His son, his son's you know, yeah, real let, me, let me say, let me finish what I'm real saying. Racist. Even Go David on. Ike, yeah, like, and I, I ain't no expert. I'm not the sort of person who can get up and 
and and speak in front of a thousand people and go on tours around the country talking about my, what I know. Yeah? It's easy when like you're even, white even, and you go even, talk, talking to even, a white supremacist crowd. Even crap. David Icke, even when the knowledge he's dealing with, <laughs> it's, it's just surface level. It's, it's just stole, surface level knowledge. People, it's, just it? surface you know that, right? it's just surface yeah, yeah, level. I know, I know, I know people, that, but he just... And he's, what he's, what yeah, I realise he's done, that. what I realise he's done is he stole the information from black people who have been saying this and he repackaged it to a white supremacist audience. Well, you, in the day, that's he, he, he rebranded he 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 and he remarketed. And I realised, I just realised it took me 20 years. 20 years later, I realised he was a racist and I realised that his actual agenda, the whole story is anti Semitic. The whole thing of the New World Order, all this, it's, it's anti Semitism. Yeah. Um, it's, and it's really right wing. And it's actually not that against the government that much. It's just a bit more extreme version of well, it. They want a more extreme version well, of it, it seems to me. Well, do you know what I say to people that, that think that, yeah? If that's where you're stuck, you know what I mean? If you've got yourself to a point where, you know what I mean, you've dealt with all this knowledge only to get stuck on trying to, I don't know, promote some sort of racial divide or idea of racial supremacy that's your problem do you know what I mean that is really your problem but what did you say to the point did, did you, did, I don't know if you covered that maybe I just maybe you did and I, it's gone over my head but what did you explain what you think about their idea that BLM not as an organisation again as a message taking a knee any kind of like yeah. any kind of example of um, standing against racism is an agenda to divide us do you think that's true no, not necessarily. It's a, I think it's... Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what what was it again. It's taken, yeah, it was taken, he was at football and that, innit? Football and, and it was Lewis Hamilton, wasn't it? No, it wasn't Lewis was Hamilton Lu originally. Lu but was... Some of the Formula One drivers went, I don't, yeah. do you know what it is? I don't really... I don't care about that exact, I, I don't care about the exact example. I don't think people should, I don't think people should, ta should take the knee if they don't want to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, fucking no, but do you think the knee. person who was doing it? What? Do I don't know. Was an well, well, to the, day, to cause a problem, or was it? Or was it someone trying to challenge racism? I don't and know. They had the right to. I don't know. I don't think they was challenging anything. I don't know, innit? So you're I with that. You're with the I don't know, right wing. I don't you're with the right wing. I might be. I don't know the full story. <laughs> um, I might be. I might go do my research and be like, yeah, I'm with, I'm with David. I'm, do you know what I mean? But I don't know. <sighs> So you think people shouldn't? So how, how do we make how do we make a stand against racism if we're not allowed to? Because every time they say stop it, it's an agenda. You want me to say it? You really want me to say it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> say it. How do, what do you mean? Do I have to take a stand? How do we racism? take a stand against racism without people like um, rise above people like David Icke telling us that we're doing it through an agenda? Because we're not allowed to do it. We're not allowed to speak about racism without them trying to stop us. So how do and, and I know you do talk about racism. You had racists exposed. You've you you've started doing it again. Do you know recently. what I realized? You know what I realized? Do do uh, but you know what I realized though. You see what I realized? Mm. Right. I I was very passionate about this sort of stuff most of my life. Right. Because I always lived in like areas where are high NF sort of areas. Yeah. And mm. I never had the. Do you know what I mean? So I was always the one who was like trying to trying to rally the troops. And you know what I mean? Mm. I was very proactive. You know. What I mean. But then when I actually had racists exposed. And I realised actually, you know what? These rate these people in this group who are mostly BLM supporters, they are just as toxic as the racist. <laughs> and that, they are in just way, literally. Though? They were just very. It was just the most. And that's the thing. It was like even though I created that group. Right, but let's yeah, talk about. Let's it was, talk about it what was, they were trying to achieve. Most, though. It was. It was. What was talked about? What they were trying nothing, to achieve. They weren't trying to achieve anything. They weren't trying to achieve anything. No, mate. we were trying to achieve. There were people in that group that, because yeah, yeah, for a minute so I got made a. There was individuals. Yeah, there was individuals. There was individuals. What there were people in there that was a, were yeah, like yeah, addressing there was. racism? Yeah, there was. No, there people, was. No, people were writing racist. They were there finding was. racist comments online. They were taking them to their jobs. They were making holding people accountable. There was action. Oh, there was action happening in that group. Yeah, and I, I, you can, I don't know. I don't know what's toxic about that. Not not like, the, not the people. Not the people as far as the admins. Mm. I mean the people that it, it attracted. Why, I though? had a lot of people that said to me, you know what, I was in that group and I left it. They no, said, a lot of people said they, they left said it because it was a lot of my, I'll be honest, a lot yeah. I don't I didn't want to get into this, but a lot of people told me they left it because it was homophobia in it, transphobia in it, it from the admin. It was all from sorts. The I'll be honest with you. Um, I'll be honest with you. That and, uh, group was crazy. Yeah? yeah. And it was like, well, this is this is meant to be a collection of people who And this is why I asked you. Right, this, this me, meant, this question, no, though. I'm answering the question. You're interrupting, yeah. This is meant to be a group of people who are fighting for Quality of tolerance, yeah. Mm. They went mental. They it was literally even mixed mixed race people weren't allowed to speak. So what's right, the solution? <laughs> the solution, basically, thank God that group got shut down. So Do you know what I mean? is the solution of addressing racism without people like who I've mentioned, 
who ha- have this narrative that any racial um, equality conversation is an is an agenda that we need to stop. They're trying to stop us. Well, do you know what it is? Like, the, so the thing is, you know what it is? That about would be it? valid, right? That would be a valid point if people didn't come out and actually say blatantly racist things okay, that, we, well, that okay. we couldn't ignore. Look, That's the thing. Look, so people, I'm, I'm so, not the first example. Yeah. I don't want to use my. I don't, look, I'm a white person who talks about these things, right? So I don't need to. I don't want to be the first example. But just because I'm sitting here and you know me, right? Me being a person who talks about racism and tries to take action in like spreading a certain message in that we need to stop racism and in our society and in UK hip hop and all these kind of things. Mm. What do I do? Like, how do I do that without them people telling me? Them people are telling me that I'm you, on an agenda. You, you know what it is. Do you think I'm on an agenda? Mm, no, that's what them might say, isn't it? Well, do you think I have an agenda? You might be a, part a, of a big. It might. You might be a small, a, a smaller part of a bigger agenda. But do you think? Yeah, they think. Well, I'm, you got to think. Well, it, I'm in a way, in a to, way, to it's still yeah, because in a way, you're still. You know, he, so do you? So you do believe? You know, yeah, I'd say to some degree because obviously you was with the the Labour Party. So in that respect, you was going towards. I wasn't the, with the Labour was, Party. You was with all, the Labour Party. I, know I was. I was a member. You was with the Labour Party. Yeah, you was, was a member. You was with them. You was riding for them. You was. You were one of the top guys. You were. You were actually one of the top guys. They're going to edit this bit. You were one of the top guys. No, no, I, I, I weren't knocking it because I was like. Oh, you was knocking it, but I don't blame you for knocking it. But end of the day, what you think? I don't blame you for knocking it. You think if you weren't, bro? You think if you wasn't like second I don't to the, need to explain it. I don't explain it now because it's not my episode. If you think if you weren't second to the Prime Minister, I wouldn't be involved somehow. Oh yeah, in, you would have got the in, plug. In the corruption the way, of British the, I'm life. I'm saying, but the way the Tories get the plug, why can't, you know what I'm saying? We could have got the plug that yeah, day. Yeah, we didn't. We could have brought the plug to Finsley Park, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyway, I'll talk about that another day. I don't. Like, I should probably explain myself so that people don't come for me for that clip, but let them just have their clip. That's cool. This was a long yeah. time ago. It wasn't that. It was but, a couple um, years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't say it was a long time. It was, only go, it was only when Corbyn was running. I only did it to, you know, so, yeah, so I'm but, a Corbyn but supporter, saying, not so a Labour supporter. So what you got to understand, yeah? So what you got to understand about me, yeah? No, but I'm talking about racism. I'm just so what you got to understand about me, right? It is. Do like, you yeah. think there's an agenda, and we should stop yeah, talking yeah, about racism? Yeah, there is an agenda. No, there is an agenda. So we should stop talking about racism. No, because that was good that we spoke about. Because now, now we've highlighted everything, yeah. Mm. And the bottom line is, yeah, is there's people on either side. Literally, I got people on the left wing, and I got people on the right wing. I didn't know they I were. I don't know about the left wing yeah, or right I got wing. people you on the right wing and the left wing. Yeah, no, that's no, they're the ones who chose. Much. They're the ones who chose to follow these narratives, and they're the ones who chose to label themselves that way. But you know what? Ultimately. Everyone can like. The thing is with get, the if everyone they, can get on peacefully, yeah, and everyone can be like, um, what's the word? Diplomatic, and everyone can like engage with each other with respect. That's what matters. People can have their mad views if they want. Do you know what so I mean? What, not certain people's views are too mad for me though, like that geezer from Glastonbury. But as far as most people, yeah, they can have their mad view. And I, and I know, like, don't get me wrong. Some of my friends, yeah, I've got some wild views. Like you know racist I mean? white friends, but they're still they've your got mate. some wild views, mate. Um, ah. and and they, you know, what I mean, at the end of the day, they're free to think whatever they want. Let's keep it moving. I had some more. I could carry on in this area for ages, but I don't want to stay there forever. So we're gonna just touch on a few more things and keep this short and sweet. Mm. Episode one: Social Justice Warrior. Um, you've like, all right. You've said you've put your views out there like, over these last few years with all of that going on. Mm. Um, you know, we come from our world of UK hip hop. We both had careers of rappers. I didn't bother say that at the beginning, but you know, <laughs> that's what it is. I, I, like I said, fuck, we don't care about hip hop in this podcast so much. And although hip hop is life, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, we hip hop, we are hip hop forever. But what have people turned on you for your views? Who used to be cool with you and stuff, or who used to like? Well, you know yeah. what it is. <laughs> I think a lot of. I think there's a lot of disgruntled um, rappers who never made it that are angry with me that I didn't play their music back in the day. And you know what I mean? I mean that's what it is, do you know what I mean? And they're using of, your views as an people, excuse. A lot of people, well, people, a, lot of people tried, are just, a lot of people are just disgruntled people. People they have felt, come from me because, to me and, cussing and, and, you and, to me loud. Like, yeah. Fuck that guy. And, and the funny yeah. thing is, the way, the way that people come to you cussing me because they think we're really ops, a few people have done that with me. And some of them are like big rappers in our scene and that. Yeah, yeah but yeah. the thing is, they came to you and they didn't come to me. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's, but that's basically, what I'm asking and you. And have, they come to you? Is. have they come to you? Have they turned on you? Have people blocked you? Like, and no, how do you feel about it? At the end of the day, yeah, like I said, innit? Like, nobody's come for me. Um, 
you know what I mean? People probably block me every day. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? I'm completely unaware of if they have or if they have. They might think that I'm aware of them. I'm completely unaware. Yeah. Um, as far as, like like I said, didn't it? as far as people coming on smoke, yeah, nobody came on smoke until they knew they knew full well I was like a good 200 miles away away from London. Do you see what I'm saying? No one, no one was even... Yeah, could you run away? No Did one was even terror, coming yeah? on smoke. Let me just say yeah, something to the camera but, about terror. But people had long enough. You had, long, you had an issue, you had long enough, didn't you? was talking a lot of smack. Yeah, on the internet about people being on lockdown and staying in their house. And Terra ran away from the whole city. He ran away from the city, he hasn't been back. I have been back. I was yeah. back a few weeks ago, actually. I didn't see him. He's, yeah, he's claiming, I, I, he you know what, Do you know the truth of the matter is, Nova? No, I actually made, do you know what the truth is? Yeah, I made a video for you, yeah? I was driving You've through... You've been self-isolating. No, no, listen, I was driving through Hackney, yeah? And I made a video, because I was actually <laughs> part, I was actually going up to um, Finsbury Parkway, and I made a video for you, like, calling you out, yeah? Like, yo, Nova, rolling through the ends. And then you know what and happened? Do you know what happened? What? My data stopped working. God struck you down. <laughs> God struck you down. Do you know what, do you know what struck him down? God and Finsbury Park. Finsbury Park itself said no. Oh, God. Not here, not funny. today. I told funny. Terry, if he wants to come to Finsbury Park, you have oh, to check, actually, you have to check in. I did go to Finsbury Park. You have to I, check no, in. I, I checked in and they weren't even there. Did you check in with These Corbyn? These weren't even there. Did you check in with Corbyn? What, what, I, I checked in with Piers Corbyn uh, when uh, I saw him in Swindon. <laughs> I got a photograph to prove yeah, he's it. The yes, one, Piers. Huh? He's, the, he's the sellout he is, one. definitely. Because he, he got, nah, let me not diss yeah, man's, yeah, man's yeah, uncle yeah, and that. I'll be honest with you. Basically, right, no, I can say this because Piers Corbyn. I just saw that video where he took the money under the table. I was riding for Piers Corbyn. I was riding for Piers Corbyn at first, yeah. And he quickly, like, do you know what I mean? Oh, sorry. Piers Corbyn. Is he a, free, is he a, is he a true far? Free, pe- is he a real true I know he's your, he's your mate's uncle, innit? So, yeah. All right, yeah but I don't want to, no, no disrespect at all, big up this Corbyn family. He's a nutter. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> he's a nutter. I think all you true yeah, are nutters. Yeah, but he, he's, like the, he's like the head, he's like the mad scientist. What's your thoughts, what's your thoughts on Jeremy, though? Um... Because I've, no, I've seen, I see you say negative things about him sometimes. I'm not really going hard, but I feel like no, you're pandering, you're pandering good, to your right wing audience. Jeremy Corbyn was a good guy. It's a good guy. Jeremy isn't it? Corbyn was a good guy. What if, is if, this still if is? Not, yeah, it, you know, Jeremy Corbyn was a good guy. He's got a movement now called the Peace and Justice while, movement. I think or after a while, you get me. Social like anyone, justice you know warriors. I'll be honest. We with might you, need a collab. I was thinking about this today, actually. And I was yeah. thinking with Jeremy. Think of Jeremy Corbyn, right, and Diane Abbott. Yeah, they should have got these people in the eighties when they were full of infuse. You know what I mean? Full of their, you know, I mean, infusy. They, they would radical. have never let them do they it. Would, they should have done it. Yeah, they they've got them right at the end when they ain't got the energy, and then the man nearly gets the prime the prime minister's seat, and then he loses it. And then at that point, you can't blame the man for becoming bitter. And he's not who's bitter. Yeah, How's he bitter? Oh, mate, I'm he's sure he's fighting. bitter, mate. I'm he's sure he's still doing his thing. Brother, I'm sure Why is he's, he's bitter. Not bitter? Why, I'm he's sure he's bitter. I'm sure he's bitter, he's and I'm sure bitter. I'm sure he's bitter to the point where. Right, listen, we all got we all, we all feel I'm emotional sure, and no, I'm angry sure, about. The I'm way sure the state he's of the country. Like, listen. I'm sure. I'm sure he's bitter to the point where he's said he's given Pfizer the, 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 the nod. Do you know what I mean? Giving him the nod, like go on, just you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, he, he, you know what I mean, hey, I don't mess with that's. And, and one thing I'd say about Corbyn, yeah. Corbyn is not a man to mess with. He used to live in Jamaica. Do you know what I mean? So I know Corbyn is sort of, in, you know, Corbyn Park, the sort of FP, man. Corbyn is sort of man. He can he can, give a, he can give a nod, yeah, and like. 10,000 that you drop. Shout you out to Jezza, man. And yeah, the big whole up family. to Jezza. He's a real one. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was... And this is like... Let me just let me just shout out Baz, yeah? Because... Um, <laughs> you're, you're, like, I don't know want to call him your guy. He's them man's guy, isn't it? Yeah, um, big up to Baz. There's a guy called Baz for anyone. Obviously, people listening to this have no idea who Baz is. Cause <laughs> Baz is nobody, but... What I'm saying, Baz is one of the guys I've been talking about, right? Just to give some context, who's like a bit... He's a bit right-wing. And uh, he... Um, calls himself a truther, right? He, you know, he, you know, this was the funniest thing to come out of the interaction the other day, is that Baz was saying, you support Corbyn, you're an anti-Semite. <laughs> That's what you're saying to me, yeah? Because I was point, calling him out for being racist, he goes, well, you're an anti-Semite, you support Corbyn. And I was like, huh? And then the entire time he was going on about how the media is controlled and brainwashing us. <laughs> but he's telling me that I'm an anti-Semite based on 
the biggest scandal propaganda in probably UK history against a politician. You know Corbyn, <laughs> they had the studies that he was proven as the highest, like the most lied about politician in history, at least in the UK. So why are you still UK. promoting this man? His time is done. Do you nah. know what I mean? You're still promoting nah, him. Nah, I'm just asking you a yeah, question, isn't listen, it? Nah, I'm not, I, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, innit? In, like, nah, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens the next time in the election because he's been kicked out of the Labour Party, innit? So it's interesting to still watch oh, his mate, journey. There's nothing and, interesting. There's nothing, and, um, inter- there's nothing interesting about British politics. Nothing. No, nah, but it's interesting all. about social Social justice. It's not about British politics. He's got a movement now called the, I think it's called I've the Peace seen and Justice it, and Movement. And that's another thing. And it's we've, not. It's we've... not politics. It's a social justice movement. So yeah. social justice warrior. Yeah. And that yeah, we mate, might well, I need okay. to link up with them. Who, 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 okay. All right. I'm have to link up with right. Fair enough. Right. Okay. So you're talking about um, social justice and social reform and mm. this talk of warriors. Yeah. Yeah. What fighting experience do these warriors have? Okay, but well, I'm talking about uh, me. No, no, I was, yeah, I'm okay, talking about okay, me. Okay. So I'm, my right, thing is social. Yeah, right. I was going to be one of my last questions. So we'll yeah, ask what that. about what about all these like the the people that Corbyn and that have got behind them? Okay, if they, do you know what I mean? Are these people uh, are they ready for action or are they? Well, just, they're, um, they're not calling themselves warriors. What, what are they? So what are they, what, what what do they hope to do then? How do they hope to make any kind of change then? They're going to turn up and do what? Well, how do you help to make any kind of change? I can get into that. How, 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 how do you help to make any change? How do I help to make change? How do you hope to, yeah? I don't hope do. to make change. I just do. I get involved. I make sure I get involved. Get the youngsters out the hood. Keep them, you know what I mean? Give them opportunity as of where you can. You know what I mean? Can't involve them that. in my business. Can't you know what I mean? I'm, I'm now, now employing and working with people from London, yeah, from Camden Town, yeah, different parts of London, yeah, people who... In, in a different in a different uh envi- you know I mean different environment could go down the wrong path mm. giving them actual opportunity for real more than a lot of them are getting in their own home city do you know what I mean but at the end of the day I'm just one individual doing mm. what I can I hear ya right I'm gonna have a section on this show right I haven't got that prepared for it today because this is the first one and it's happened kind of random but um I'm where I'm gonna read out comments mm. um and uh, that is not the section where I want to read these. Oh, there they are. So we're going to read a comment. I'm going to read a comment, right? Um, I'm going to find a good one first. Might edit this little bit out if I take too long. Um, all right, let's read this one. All right, this says, Virtue signalers are everywhere, and the pro-refugee bunch are the absolute worst. We all no one on our news feed complaining about gammons or Tories while offering zero solutions. <laughs> what do you think about that comment? <laughs> and what do you think, what type of person do you think wrote that comment? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what side of the political spectrum do you think that person comes from? Um... <laughs> Like, just if you don't know anything about that comment, boy. I just read it to you. Boy. What do you think about that comment? All I can say to that is, boy. Let's be real, Terra. The problem is he knows who wrote it, yeah? Because I, I, I'm I, supposed to boy. do this without him knowing who wrote it, but I already sent him all these screenshots the other day, so I, I've ruined <laughs> it. In the future, next episodes, I'm going to... The person, yeah. they won't know who wrote it. Yeah. But let's give an honest answer. It doesn't matter. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh mate would it be fair to say uh racist person wrote that <laughs> comment <laughs> oh, the God. viewers are gonna have no idea why you're finding this funny, you know? <laughs> they're gonna have no idea they're gonna think what is wrong with this guy <coughs> this man is dying on why camera why is he laughing <coughs> He's literally dying on camera I thought, he, he doesn't that's do some drugs. madness you know what I mean madness. you know what it is isn't it um it's a madness. Next question. So I get another one. Next question. Got, we, get, have to, get no, we, have to do, we have to do three. I think three yeah. is the three. Yeah. So you're saying that the answer to what that is, is a madness. Yeah, it's a madness. A racist madness? It's a madness. Uh, let's go for this one. I'm waiting for Lewis Hamilton's speech. <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, right, give me an answer oh, in the God. give me an answer oh, in the comments, God. guys. Do you guys think that Terra oh, Slim finds God. racism funny? Oh, my Does Terra God. Slim find racism funny? Oh, Answers God. in the comments. And, uh, and guys, in the comments here, yeah, in the comments, I want you to um, 
that you guys tell us what you think. Tell us your funniest racist joke. Tell us your funniest racist joke. Tell us what you think of these comments as well. Tell me what you think of these comments. And also, if you can find any comments from other things here, crazy ones, obviously put quote marks and put who the comments from and where it's from. Give us comments that I should read out. But um, right, let me finish this one. <laughs> I'm waiting for Lewis Hamilton's speech blaming that loss on white supremacy. Yeah, well, he. the thing is, he did enter the Formula One, which was owned by, what's his name? What's the geezer's name? The I one, don't know. Um, oh, God. He was, a main, of, he was a supporter of Oswald yeah, but Mosley. It's, it's the main, it's so the main he, he like, league, of, isn't it? It's the he, league. Well, you shouldn't be able to enter the biggest driving kind of, league and no, be the greatest driver in the world. he did throw himself in the lion's den. But he's the greatest in the world, yeah, right? Yeah, he did throw himself in the lion's den. It is what it is, isn't it? Like Lewis so Hamilton. what do you Lewis, think? Do you know what it is? Lewis Hamilton, he's from Hertfordshire, so we big him up, in it. Yeah, big he's him up. A few guys but what do you Stevens think about that comment? And who do you think, what type of person do you think wrote that comment? It just is what it is. It just is what it is? It is what it is. Do you think a racist person wrote that comment? <laughs> or do you oh, think gosh. a person who's pro equality and, and treats black and white people equally wrote that comment? I don't know. I don't know who wrote that comment, to be honest. I know you don't know who wrote the comment, but do you think a racist person wrote that comment? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to speak to them. I'd have to, do you know what I mean? So you don't. I couldn't, you don't ma I, I couldn't make that judgment. I couldn't make that judgment. So it might be, it might not be. I couldn't make the. I can't. Well, what do you think he's saying, though? He's saying that. Because Lewis Hamilton has challenged white supremacy, he's did mocking. He? Yeah. I don't think he did well, anyway. He's mocking, he I can get into it. Ways, I, I, yeah. I, I could get well, into it. Well, he's implying like, that he has. Mate, Lewis, mate. And he's saying that because he's now going to blame his loss on white supremacy because he blames everything on white supremacy. That's the insinuation, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of that insinuation? Yeah, what well, it is, you know, if that's what you believe, that's what you believe, isn't it? Like, so you're, I can't, a, you're, I can't, you're a racist? I can't stop you. I can't, st I can't change your beliefs, innit? If that's what you believe. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, maybe I should look into it. Maybe I should look <sighs> into Lewis Hamilton, see what it was he was saying and what he was up to. Do you know what I mean? All right. Uh, I'm going to say this one. I'm going to say the date on this one, yeah? 21st yeah. of August, 2022, because yeah. you'll, you'll work out what happened on that date. Similarly to the last one was related to a, a Formula One, obviously. Yeah. This comment says, Ukraine 2, BLM 0. What was that about? Um, that was about uh, Joshua and Yusik, I think, fighting, right? Oh, right, yeah. So he did he beat did he did Joshua lose to him I twice? I can't remember. I did don't, he lose I to him don't, twice? Did um, they fight twice? Yeah, he lost to him twice, didn't he? Is it? that what happened? He, I, don't I don't know. know. I, no, I don't, it might have been something else. It might have been. Um, it was to do a boxing. Do a boxing. Yeah. So he's basically calling Ukraine. You Ukraine yeah. and BLM. Yeah. Well, well, you know what it Joshua is. No, because and then you Joshua, I, yeah, BLM. because what it was, if you check out boxing, yeah, boxing mm. loves. They do love to play on the racial backgrounds of the boxers, and they like. You know what I mean? It's kind of like they do modern it, day. The modern day, do it. No, no, no. The boxing people that set it up. This, it's all gladi It's like gladiators, isn't it? And um, so it, it sometimes it links in with like current affairs and stuff. So. In a way, I can see, I can see, I can see where I get, I get where you're coming from, though. I get you, you can, you see like insensitivity in it, but at the same think time, I can see, is it, is I can it, see why someone made that comparison. Is it a racist statement to call a black box a BLM? Um, do you know what? <sighs> Possibly, but you know what it is, yeah. Um, I noticed that a lot during the when the BLM was popular. Mm. Um, anything that came up so someone put a picture of Idris Elba up or something and it, it became oh BLM oh, and so I'd get where you're coming from innit there was a time where but it was literally problem. it was literally it, it became like BLM became like a byword innit but that's where this so, becomes the problem right BLM become the word like people saying BLM is a bad thing right even like black people are saying it's corrupt stuff like that right so when you talk about racism now if I come along I don't mention BLM I just say yo there's like I call out these comments and I say, this is racist. They're going to go, oh, he's BLM and attach all of this connotations that they've created about BLM onto what I'm saying, even though I haven't said BLM. Same thing happens with feminism, right? Yeah. I can talk about women's equality and say women are being murdered three times a week in the UK by male partners and say that's an epidemic of violence against women. Mm. That's, all I, that's all I'm saying. And I'll go, oh my God, he's a feminist. Yeah, he's a yeah. male feminist. And then they'll attack me with this thing and attack me with it and shut my whole message well, down. This and this is why I asked you before. Yeah, well, how this is... do I or anyone challenge racism 
when they're all going to call well, it an agenda. Well, you got to look at like it because, do, because label it with that because, anyway. Because it's what like actually BLM's not the issue. Because yeah. all them men are going, oh, I don't have an issue with black people. I don't have an issue with racism. I just have an issue with BLM. But then every time, even if I don't anything to do with BLM, yeah, I've never met anyone like from BLM. You know what I'm saying, I never like, I, worked with. I, them. I had I had a like, geezer. What do we do? How do we do it? I had a geezer. <coughs> Sorry to go off track. I had a geezer message me. He was, ar- arguing, with me. He was arguing with me, yeah? But he said to me, like, fuck BLM. Yeah. Right? And it was like, wait, yeah, fuck BLM. What's your point? Do you know what I mean? Why are you saying BL- fuck BLM to me for? Like, expecting me to get offended by it. You know what I mean? I'm saying it, it to offend to you. Me. And that, and that's the, yeah, because he's trying to attack And that's you the same thing. And that's black a, that's basically what happened. I can, I can talk about this story because... Mm. The, um, We've already gone through the we've already gone through the, uh, the the police and it's already been cleared. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so um, I had a situation with a guy. I was on a train and a, a guy basically sat next to me on the train and started making up a fucking he went on a rampage basically anti BLM rampage. Yeah, but I'm the only black person on the train. You understand? But he was attacking black people. He was attacking BLM. I guess both. But he was doing it saying BLM directly. He was just, he first he no actually sorry he actually started on the um, the, the, the train guard who was African. Okay. So it started with him, but then he's left the carriage, so I'm mm. left it. So you get me? I'm left. I'm left in there with this madman. So obviously I've had to handle. I've had to handle my business. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've had to handle my business, and my man got dealt with. But ultimately, his. It was BLM which triggered him. Now he thought that I, and that's the thing. When I went and I had to go and have an interview with the police and that, mm. I was saying to the police, I said it's funny because he he was getting angry at me for what it, over BLM, and he didn't realise I don't even support BLM. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I don't actually. I'm not even into all that. So yeah, I get it. it it's but that's what I'm saying. It's an off. example of yeah. him you, him just using that as a as an anchor to channel his racism at you. Yeah, at the, at but you know what? I'll train. be honest with you. Do you know what it is? I'll what be happened honest. in that incident? You said you could talk about it, but I don't know how much you can talk about it. What happened in the incident? <sighs> a lot. But you know what it is, yeah? <laughs> you know what it is? I'm, I'm the opposite, yeah? I don't even care about racists. Do you know what I mean? So did you I don't have... even care about... Ra- racist, racist are, 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 are sport to me. It's a sport. So in the day, like I said... So did you, did, <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you let him get on his racist way? Or did you what do you mean him? I let him get on his racist did way? Did he get away with it? In what way? I don't know. Like, you're saying Got he came to you and racially, <laughs> racially abused you, and then what? Is it, uh, then... Mate, well, it can't be said, basically. It can be said. We don't have to say it. But it can be said. You know, he got like, himself I'd... badly hurt. Yeah. yeah, that's it. He got himself very badly hurt. Yeah. And and not only that, he's got life-changing injuries. Oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. It, so it's, it went, you know, wow. got life-changing I only, I only, injuries. The only, only reason I asked that is because like, we had a lot of conversation in this thing about racism and not it. being addressed and I want to just yeah, show that racism it, it, and you being like yeah they're only talking about even you've told me sometimes are oh, they only against BLM they're not racist and then we realise actually well, well, there's an example there yeah, where actually this, you, and this you guy actually, was a lunatic and actually it got dealt he was, with he was a lunatic you know uh, what I mean cool uh, look we're coming to an end um it's been a pleasure. I think I don't know. I think I need some kind of question at the end, where right, with this term, because you get the concept. Like, what do you think about the term social justice warrior? What does that mean to you? What do you think of when someone says that term? Well, we broke it down quite well earlier. Yeah, but you know, like most labels, like stigma gets attached to all labels. Yeah. So it can be something. Yeah, it can be something that people make fun of. But then, like you said, um, my funny thing is yeah. I prefer your other one. I don't even know if I'm allowed to no, say, we'll say it. Can I say that one? That's me personally. But that's not going to be... Being the marketing genius that I am. That's, that's not, that's <laughs> not going to be a brand in the same way, but it'll be a, it'll be a, a, a merch. It'll be a, a, I would, a spin-off. I would, I would drop that one. I would yeah. drop that one quick. Do you but know this, I mean? like, as far as a brand for us to discuss issues like this, this is what I think is the name. But what I find funny is, right, you know that people used to call me social justice warrior for saying, the thing, saying what I say mm. without me wearing a T-shirt. Mm. But now... I'll say something to them they'll go on my page they'll see the t-shirt and they'll attack that and it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. these people are so dumb <laughs> it's like you don't realise that t-shirt is already mocking you yeah, 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 for yeah. when you say it yeah, so yeah. I'm already, I, put, I wore that t-shirt for people who say that as a negative thing mm-hmm. so you've actually let it go over your head seen the t-shirt and gone oh my god you're wearing a social justice warrior. yeah duh it's like too intelligent for you. Yeah, yeah. Just, like you don't realize that I'm actually taking the piss out of you already. You're not taking the piss out of yourself. Whoops. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Anyway, um, where can people find your stuff? What do you want to promote? What's your last message of social justice as well for the people? All right. So um, you can go to my website, which is badslaveuk.com, I think. Yeah. 
and uh, I've got loads of things that I sell on the website. Um, the message ultimately is like, be as self-reliant and self-sufficient as you can. Um, peace, not war, because that was a you Jeremy can't make Corbyn money in movement. In, still, you can't make money in war. That was a Jeremy Corbyn movement. Um, like, don't, Jeremy don't, Corbyn, and, yeah. day, don't, and what, <laughs> another thing people have to understand, yeah, like if people want to, if you want to unite with people, you want to, you know, what I mean, bring communities together. You don't need the government to do that. You know, what I mean, you can do that yourself, in it. But then, it, once you do decide to like start doing things for yourself it's going to be down to you to get the junkies out of your community do you see what I'm saying then you're going to have to step up do you know what I mean so it's only for you know for the people that are really like about it do you know what I mean alright and uh, what else anything else you want me to say before we uh, just whatever you want to say and your shout outs any, uh, um, any yeah you know and like big any, ups any message anything you, anything you want to say to the people do you know what I mean but I yeah. think you might have covered it yeah, I think I've said. All right, well, I'll just said say, what uh, say. Also, socialjusticewarrior.co.uk. At the moment, it just links to my band camp, and I've got all the products on there. But I'm going to make a proper website at some point soon so I can get these episodes on there as well. Um, we're going to have new merch. You know what I'm saying? Terra might be a silent partner. He's going to act like he don't <laughs> like it. I'm saying he's against the left wing and that, but he's going to start. He's going to start getting my merch done for me and that. You know what I'm saying he's going to get me sunglasses Oi, listen, like that. Listen, you know what I'm we, we might. He's even... got the bad sleeve sunglasses on now. I've got Gucci on. Listen, let me. You know I, 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 there is one thing I want to say. Yeah, there, <laughs> is, there is one thing I want to say, and obviously I'll, I'll be as vague as I can to not put anybody on blast or anything. Yeah. Okay? But obviously this this little like conflict that's been going on. With amongst who? the lads with a few, oh, the lads, a few yeah, of the lads yeah, yeah. <coughs> that's a hip hop thing but we can still talk here. about it you guys should we're, we're doing the peace talks on you lot's behalf innit so mm. at the end of the day allow all the conflict um, everyone like you know like you, sometimes you have to be the bigger person and just like forget it and just move on without what is yeah shout out borderline them, man. cyber bullying shout out and, them man yeah 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 you know, are you saying that like, leave, leave, yeah, leave you know, my man alone? Got to just, yeah, yeah. But uh, by the way, we're not talking about any of those ops that are against me and them races. It's still smoke for them. All of them is on smoke. Don't see me. I'll, I'll, I actually, some of you, I will <laughs> slap you up in the real world. Like, don't, like, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Well, all that shit Terra said earlier about are these people warriors? Like, he doesn't mean me. Don't talk wild to me and think I won't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, it is. It is Peace talks, yeah, peace talks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying this is a show of conflict. It's, it's, it is. It's like, a, you know, but we're in, we're going through our conflicts in this conversation like adults. I'm, I'm a, and, know, and a lot of you are at that level. A lot of people aren't at that level but yet. Don't you're get not... it twisted. Or even the people I'm saying, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll bad you up and all of that. That's only because you're talking, ma if you're talking madness to me and like threatening and stuff like that. But in general, actually, let me not get carried away. You are welcome to come and sit here as well. You yeah. can sit down and have these conversations. Yeah. Um, you can have an episode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And just and another episode. thing I'd say as well: a lot of these are a lot of these people that are getting angry. A lot of what they're getting angry about is they they just want their turn, innit? it? You get what I mean? A lot of people yeah. just want their turn, and you'll, you'll get, you'll get your turn. You'll get your lot, turn. When it's talking about these racial issues, there's a lot of privileged like Tory white boys that have had you've had your turn, bro. <laughs> you were born into your turn. <laughs> what I'm saying, like, don't stop acting up. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, cool, you want your turn in the black music culture. Cool, go back to the studio, get better at rapping. We're, oh. get, we're getting off track. Uh, yeah. Social Justice Warrior, episode one. First special guest, Terra Slim. I think that went amazingly yeah. well. Myself, Nova Flip. Um, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to the Flip Life Media YouTube channel. That's where these videos are going up. Subscribe on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you, Apple Podcasts, whatever you listen to, man. And yeah, we are.